Welcome to the presentation of Secure Boot for the Raspberry Pi. In this video, I will give you insights to physical and cyber security of embedded systems, like the Raspberry Pi. We will look at the normal Raspberry Pi boot flow, our security level 2 micro SD cards, and the SwissBit access control feature. And we will derive a secure boot flow to protect your data and the system's integrity. Let's start with an overview of our security level 2 micro SD cards. These cards feature robust industrial memory and built-in access control, functioning as a self-encrypting drive. You can configure individual partitions with different protection profiles, securing everything from configuration files to data, preventing unauthorized copying or cloning. And most importantly, for this video, we'll focus on how you can ensure system integrity, making the system tamper-proof, so attackers cannot alter your data or applications. Our microSD cards can also serve as secure removable media or be used for license protection with Wibu's code meter ready. So, what can our microSD cards protect against? And what can they not? Let's divide the potential threats into two categories, physical attacks, where someone has access to the device, and remote attacks, which occur over a network, like the internet or a nearby connection. Both types of attacks aim at the valuable assets stored in your embedded system. These can include applications, configurations, credentials for backend services like VPNs, safety parameters, and cloud communication credentials. For remote attacks, standard practices like software hardening and reducing the attack surface, disabling unnecessary services, are common. But physical security is also essential, especially for systems using microSD cards, like the Raspberry Pi. With our Security Level 2 card, you get an additional layer of protection. Even if someone has physical access to your card, they can't read or modify the data, thanks to hardware-based access control and AES encryption. Why is all of this needed? Let's look at the standard Raspberry Pi boot process. When using a regular microSD card, all partitions, such as the boot partition and root file system, are always accessible. The Raspberry Pi starts by reading the bootloader from the boot partition, then boots the kernel and loads Linux from the root file system. But this setup is not secure. The data on the card could be tampered with either during production or while in use. Bootloaders aren't protected, and system integrity isn't guaranteed. However, there is a solution to this. Let's dive into how our security upgrade kit works. Between the flash storage and the system is the SwissBit flash controller and its access control feature. This controls whether certain areas of the flash storage are readable, writable, or completely hidden. You can configure up to four partitions with different protection profiles. Some can be made private, only accessible after authentication. In addition to the general access also that the behavior of each partition can be set to read-only or read-writable before or after unlocking. This adds a critical extra layer of security for embedded systems that rely on data stored on microSD cards, like the Raspberry Pi family. In this slide, the configuration lifecycle of our security level 2 microSD cards is explained. When shipped, all the protection is unset, and the device can be flashed, used and partitioned like any other card. We call this the transparent mode. After you have configured the card to your needs, you have to activate the protection by setting a user and security officer pin. Beyond the versatile configuration, one key feature is the automatic locking mechanism. When powered up, the card is always locked by default. To unlock the card, the system must authenticate with a pin, network challenge response, or system fingerprinting, blocking all unauthorized access. Whenever an attacker pulls out the card, it is automatically locking itself again. Another benefit compared to other secure boot schemes known from embedded computers is that this locking mechanism can be reverted by using the security officer pin. This feature also can be disabled, however your security concept is demanding it. 
Let's see how this works with the Raspberry Pi. Our security level 2 micro SD card is partitioned with four partitions, but only the boot partition is readable by default. Inside the boot partition is the SwissBit U-Boot bootloader, an open source bootloader that communicates with the micro SD card using the ASSD protocol. After unlocking, the other partitions become accessible and the system can presume its normal boot. The system's integrity is protected because the bootloader is made immutable by our access control mechanism and cannot be altered. If unlocking fails, the data on the card remains secure and unreadable. This protects your system integrity and ensures the confidentiality of your data from unauthorized physical attacks, as we have seen earlier. Let's take a detailed look at the support matrix for the different Raspberry Pi models and the security policies they support. Our system offers three key security policies. Pin policy, unlock based on a pin code. Hash policy, unlock through system fingerprinting or a hash-based method. Network policy, unlock via a network challenge response mechanism. All Raspberry Pi models support either 32-bit or 64-bit operating systems, depending on the model. The Raspberry Pi 4 supports both 32-bit and 64-bit architectures, providing maximum flexibility. In terms of security policies, the Raspberry Pi 2B, 3B, and 3B Plus all support PIN, hash, and network policies, making them highly versatile and secure options. The Raspberry Pi 4 also supports all three policies, making it the most adaptable choice for implementing advanced security features. However, the Raspberry Pi 0 variants and the Raspberry Pi 5 currently only support the PIN policy. This limitation on the Raspberry Pi 5 is due to our reliance on open-source community contributions for U-Boot, which currently lacks network interface support. We're actively working to address this, with plans to introduce further policy support in future updates. For more information, including the support matrix, setup tools, code, and reference guides, visit swissbit.com security upgrade kit. You'll find all the resources needed to implement these security features on your Raspberry Pi, no matter the model. Summing up we've seen that the protection can be managed. And if we use our secure boot solution, that the data cannot be altered. Also data cannot be read out and copied, preserving data confidentiality. And all in all the system integrity is established and preserved. Thanks for watching and stay secure, 